The glistening water and the bright sunshine paint the landscape of San Juan Capistrano, California. Many come for the serenity, but not Troy Palomalu. Through exhaustive experimentation, the sports lab in Orange County has turned unorthodox methods into consistent success. My training is really unique and that it's very challenging mentally, physically, spiritually, and all those type of things. It's not, it's not fun. It's kind of like a nine to five job for me. I mean, you'll take girls that are in here for eight to 12 weeks and they get six to eight inches on their vertical. That's not supposed to be possible. Troy is here because he doesn't want a repeat of last year. I went three years without even missing a practice. And he was racked up by Polamalu. And then to have two years filled with injuries, it's really humbling and it's really miserable, quite honestly. After undergoing knee surgery, Troy received Coach Mike Tomlin's blessing to skip camp and return to his training roots in Southern California. Palomalo's trainer is Marv Marinovich, the man many blame for the spoiled career of his son, Todd. But Paolo Malo credits Marinovic for saving his career. Injured in college, he says Marv's program brought him back. Now, seven years later, the four-time pro bowler hopes history will indeed repeat itself. He was a junior at USC and he came over and uh, right away I was overwhelmed with his athleticism and, and the, his ability to relax. The best athletes have that. I don't think I've met a trainer that's ever not believe 100% in their system. It takes the individual, I think, the trainer under, under them to believe in their system. And I believe in everything that, that Marv preaches. Marinovich is a pioneer of isokinetic training. Where traditional regimens utilize heavy weightlifting to get bigger, Marv and his trainers eliminate the free weights and instead focus on getting muscles to fire faster. What we're doing is we are challenging the nervous system and the body to react at a higher level. And we're doing that by systematically training each piece of the body from the feet all the way up to the head. We do a lot of balance type of things, a lot of jumping. If you watch any type of kung fu movies or <laughs> watching these Tibetan monks standing on poles, you know, on one foot, it's more related to that type of training. Their philosophy is when it comes to muscles, bigger is not better, it's slower. If you are a boxer, and your arm weighed 150 pounds, is it moving at this speed? Is it gonna hurt you? Well, you put that same arm at 10 pounds, and now you're gonna hurt somebody. For Palomalo, teaching his muscles to fire quicker and more explosively equate to harder hits and more fluidity on the 